getting right into it. The first thing are these advent calendars from Trader Joe's. Um, and then these are some paper stars from Ikea that you can hang. Got a few of them this year. I totally missed it last year. They're a seasonal item. This is a fruit bowl from CB2, and I'm going to link everything below that is still available, but again, some of these items only come out once a year, like the star. Um, we just ended up getting a bunch. We have these two hooks in our ceiling over the dining room table, and it's when we'll hang a lot of decor. And these pillows, I love them. They were quite pricey, um, but I didn't want to wait for them to go on sale and then chance not being able to get them. Um, they're from Pottery Barn, and again, I'll link everything that's still available, but I got two. One in the candy, um, wrapped candy shape, and then this one is like kind of like a peppermint um, ball. Super soft, so cute, and we end up putting them on our bed. Um, this is a foil balloon. I thought it'd be really cute to blow it up um, and hang over the ceiling. This is a pan that I saw another YouTuber haul. Um, totally wanted to get one. She got hers at Costco and we were not able to find it in our store, but I was actually able to order um, online grocery delivery through Costco and then put the pan in my um, grocery cart and got it that way. This is the cutest little basket house. Um, I believe it's rattan. It is very decent size. It's by Ali and Ella. And again, I'll link everything below. We have quite a few of their items, um, including their dolls, and they just never disappoint. Um, Akko ended up loving this so much. So you can actually get these pieces at the dollar spot in Target, but um, he is obsessed with dinos so I picked up that kit this is supposedly a kite we haven't used it yet so I'm not sure that it actually flies um, another one of those stars from Ikea and then just some stacking pens and gingerbread we're gonna use them in our gift boxes for our friends for um, the holiday and then a few nail stickers Kahi has been really into getting manicures and I picked up just some little fun things for her and then I got a set of um, basically necklaces um, I got one years ago like that blue t-rex the kids fight over it so I just ended up getting one each for them this is a kid friendly nail polish again for when Kahi gets her manicure and then these sticky guys I used to have them when I was a kid um, Santa pullback cars and really pretty marbles um, that's supposed to look like the solar system. I obviously don't know where the camera is <laughs> and just a really cute Christmas tree nightlight for the kids room. And this is a nail um, polish that's child friendly. Um, and again, I tend to pick out the colors I like, red and pink. I love this Santa plate. It is so cute. But I actually got it to get free shipping. Um, so that was the item I was looking for for, for the shop. Um, but ended up picking up a few more just to get free shipping. This is a different day and I am just sharing a Target haul. The audio ended up being really horrible. So I'm re-recording. Um, I got a set of these really cute printed um, dish towel and oven mitt, as well as a new mug. I try not to pick up too many new mugs every Christmas season. And these plastic milk jugs are so cute. Going to use it um, for our Christmas breakfast that we have every year. Um, picked up a penguin ornament for my friend Grace. Every time I see anything penguin, I try to get her one. Um, and then last but not least, just a wooden set. They're not salt and pepper shaker. They're just like wooden figurines, but I figured it'd be really cute for crafts. And then these were such a good deal, a dollar each. And they are elf outfits that we didn't end up using this year. Um, some spatulas, can never have too many of these. 
especially when we are baking around the clock. And then this is just the pacifier I ordered for Teddy. Um, and of course, a Bubsy refill. If you don't know the brand, you have to check it out. It is the only thing we use for our children. And here I am putting some new goodies back in the pantry. I loved this haul. So I was um, not familiar with this brand. I think I found it on Instagram, but, um, and ordered a few things and they're just so cute. Um, literally the best quality. I think they're all handmade and she's just incredibly talented. I love picking up things like this for Kahi, for her um, stocking, for the advent calendar. And again, they're just so unique. Um, obviously this is a Christmas haul, but I definitely plan on ordering for other holidays as well. And last but not least, I have a really small clothing haul. Um, first I have this olive green. The color is coming up a little bit yellow than it is. Um, sweater. I thought it'd be really cute, um, for the holidays for either Akko and Kahi to wear. Um, I bought it in Akko's size, but they can essentially almost share oversized things like that. And I really like oversized things on little girls anyway. Um, and then I bought this onesie, like a romper onesie, um, but which Kahi fits, but um, she can also just wear it with it unclipped now that she's potty trained. And um, I bought this one because Akko actually has this exact sweatshirt, um, just in not a not in a onesie form, so that they can match. Um, and then I bought this T-shirt because I thought it was super cute. Um, if she were to wear it with like a little tutu or even just leggings, um, again, I got it, um, kind of oversized so she can grow into it. And then I saw these earrings and they're so adorable. The croissant, the milk bottles and the red bow and their clip on earrings. Kahi is such a girly girl. She loves makeup and dresses and jewelry. Um, so I got those for her and then, um, I got this for baby Teddy. It is a little, I can't pronounce this brand, um, but it's a little orange, like a Mandarin since he's going to be born so close to the Lunar New Year. Um, and then I was just going to hang it either on his pram or the car seat, um, or even a baby gym, but it is so cute. That is everything we bought in December, and I really hope to get better at these, but thanks for watching.